better Kansas City. Now, when you think summer grilling, you probably think hamburgers, steaks, hot dogs, but don't forget about the fruit. Back with us is one half of Barbecue Queens, as well as cookbook author and novelist Judith Fertig. Uh, welcome. Thank you for sticking around, number yeah, one, in the show. So. so we're not making margaritas now on, on this part of the show. We are going to be grilling fruit. Yes, we had our cocktail before, and now it's get, get to work time. All so. right, how do we go from, from the garden to go seed to sizzle? Uh, well, you can grow things like peaches mm -hmm. and, uh, and lemon balm, which is from my garden. Lemon balm. It, it comes up. You, you can do that with a leaf. Oh, kind of like mint. You yeah. got to work it a little yeah, bit there you so you smell it. Yeah, you have to work it a little bit. So, okay. And it'll smell like lemonade. It does smell like yeah. lemonade. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and it comes back every year, and it, it kind of takes over like mint. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's a great finishing to uh, a fruit, because with fruit, you don't want to have too much going on. You want to enjoy yeah. the flavor of the fruit. So I remember, it's, it's been a little while ago, but someone, was it you that was here grilling watermelons before? Or yeah. Was some, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you like just grilling fruit. Is that yeah. kind of your thing then? Well, it's, we, we grill everything. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, the only thing we don't grill is peas maybe, but yeah, in they, the pod they'd we fit, grill. They'd slip through the grates in the yeah, grill. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a little, <laughs> little difficult. We don't grill strawberries. We don't, we don't do that. Well, but. let's start, uh, start making some of these peaches. Sure. How, are, how are you cooking them up today? Here? Sure. Well, uh, you want to make sure that you uh, have have halved and, and removed the pit from the peaches. Okay. You want it, a, outdoor grill or a hot grill pan, mm -hmm. and then you just put these on. And we don't have our grill pan on now because okay. that's the wrong kind of pan. But yeah. uh, <laughs> but but anyway, um, and you just leave them on here. You don't turn them. You just you mm -hmm. just leave it. And what you want is to get good grill marks. Sometimes you get good grill marks. Sometimes they just get blistered and caramelized because that's all the mm -hmm. sugars that are coming up in the fruit and it, it gives you that toasted marshmallow flavor with Ooh. the fruit without toasted marshmallow. Excellent. So how yeah. do, what kind of heat do you want to do that in? Do you want to do a, a hot heat like yeah. you're cooking your meats or a slow yeah. and low type medium thing? High. So, medium high. So and you want to do this before you put your steak on. You don't want to <laughs> have steak on your peaches. No. You, know? you can or, have peaches on your steak but not steak on your peaches. Okay. I'm going to make that into a t-shirt design. Yeah. I think. yeah. Steak on your peaches but no peaches on I don't know if that'll yeah. work or not. But and, let's talk about what is grim, is it grimolata? Gremolata. It is an Italian uh, seasoning. It's usually used, um, the traditional gremolata is for like a veal shank that's slow cooked and mm -hmm. it's Italian parsley and lemon and a little, sometimes a little Parmesan in with it. Okay. But for fruit, we've changed it up and, and we've got uh, uh, some lemon balm. You could add mint to this if you want. And what you want to do is just sort of snip this. Mm -hmm snip this in and if you could twist a little salt in here we're, we're okay. using himalayan sea salt how much today. do we want just just a couple just a couple another maybe another one yeah that's good all right yeah that's good you don't and add then, too much salt no not too much salt okay uh and then we're going to grate a little lemon zest okay. on our right here yeah just right through top? here right okay. through here there you go you just want a little bit there it's coming there we go a little yeah. bit more yeah a little bit more Am I doing it right? Oh, there's yeah, a little bit. There, okay. Yeah. You just have to press harder than. I was what being you might very, think. very ginger yeah, with yeah, it this you've morning. Been, okay, you've here been we go. Very gentlemanly with all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a little all bit. All right, there. there's good. That's good. All right. And then you want to go back and snip it some more. And so now we're really getting that yeah, lemon. Yeah. Can uh, you smell? Scent. Yeah. Can you and, smell that? Yeah. And then the and then the actual zest as well really yeah, coming together. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to snip this up a little bit, and then when your peaches are done, so we'll mm -hmm. get our our peach that's done. And they'll caramelize uh, up like that. You yeah, were they about, caramelize right? wow. just beautifully. So you do get that toasted marshmallow flavor mm -hmm. with your fruit. And then as a final finish, this is you know very, very few calories on this. You could have a little ice cream or frozen yogurt with it, Ooh. and you're see, good to see, go. See when you when we when you were first when I was first reading about this, it it's in a, like a lot of the peach cobbler yeah. recipes we used to make as kids out of the yeah. campfire, you know. But yeah. this is just kind of a not really a rework on that, but just an alter another way to be able to cook yeah, peaches, streamline. you know? Yeah, streamline. Yeah. Another great thing is to do bananas for a grilled banana split. Really? You slice bananas in half and put them cut side down until they get good grill marks, and they make fabulous. They taste like toffee bananas that you might get at a Chinese restaurant. Really? Yeah. Well, I know where I'm stopping on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Judith, thank you so much for your time. Can I try one of these? Sure, quick? sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut myself off a little piece here on the bottom, I think. That way I'm not taking a huge slice out of that peach. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. But you got me on that banana one, though. Yeah, yeah. That sounds tremendous. Yeah. We've, and we've been at home with the kids. We've been doing banana splits as like yeah. a little treat on the weekends yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. So 
to try that in on my grill yeah. next time. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for being here for these Thanks great for tips outside on the grill. Some fun ways to incorporate fruit. Yeah. While you're barbecuing this summer. Belinda, over to you.